Joshua. Hello, everybody. I, I am going to solve a problem in physics, applied in astronomy. Those are my two favorite subjects. October 11, 2017. A supernova is an exploding star. A supernova is billions of times brighter than an ordinary star, like our sun. Most supernovae occur in distant galaxies and cannot be observed with the naked eye. The last two supernovae visible to the naked eye occurred in 1604 and 1987. Supernova SN 1987A occurred 1.6 times 10 to the 21 meters from Earth. So when did the explosion occur in years? We should write the given. Which is the, the T. Which means distance. Which is equal to 1.6 times The point. 10. Make it obvious. To the 21 meters. Now, we are looking for T, which means time, which is unknown. So, first, let's analyze this problem first. So, this is the explosion. So, over here is Earth. Clearly, not too small. That's Earth. So, that the, the Earth in 1987. So, this one is called initial time, which is Ti. It's the time of explosion, time of the star. So, here is the final time. When the light from the supernova reach Earth in 1987. So that, this is called the final time, or TF. So, we are not just looking for any time. We are looking for delta time. Which is normally calculated by using, by subtracting the initial time by the final time. From? From the, from the, from the final time. So, the final time is 1987, but the initial time is unknown. So we can't calculate delta time by using this equation. Instead, of we are using light, which is the light from the supernova that reached Earth in 1987. Not just any kind of light, it's the speed of light, which is it's the speed of light. So let's begin. First, we are going to use the dirt equation, which is distance equals rate or speed times time. And we use this in the using bulk calculation. So first to isolate time, we should we should divide both sides by rate. So cancel the rates and here we have T or time equals distance over rate. Or speed. So we're not just using any rate or speed. We are using the speed of light. So the speed of light, this will, with the speed of light, this equation will turn into d over c. So c means celeritas, Latin for speed. So the value of c is, which is the speed of light, which was also used in Albert Einstein's famous equation, E equals mg squared. This is 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. So, now let's substitute. The distance is 1.6 times 10 to the 21 meters. And the speed of light is 
way to zero, times 10 to the eighth. The, the point. Meters per second. So meters, meters. So I cancel that thing. So can you cancel that? One. Never ends, you put the bar on top. Times 10 to the 12 power second. So, uh, wait. So, uh, so, we're going to convert this into years, not seconds. We don't want Lower, seconds. lower, lower. Five. Okay. Five. Lower, 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 lower. It is that one. So since there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. So let's cancel the seconds first. And uh, there are 24 hours in one day. So cancel the hours. Then there are approximately 365, I forgot, days in one year. One year, so cancel days, cancel days, days. So, uh, Below, below. So the will be equal to one hundred sixty-nine thousand and the nine. thirteen years. That's the answer. So just imagine that the light from the supernova that reached that was became visible in nineteen eighty-seven on Earth. Was actually emitted 169,013 years prior to 1987. So, thanks for watching. God bless you Bye bye. Thank you, Joshua. I will just record.